And on the other side, we got a uh, Caleb. Oh yeah, here, let's do that again. Yeah, there we go. Caleb, he's putting on another coat of body filler on this side. It's coming along nicely. And we got Coleman, he's got a long board out. He's blocking the primer on the F-250 here. And you can see that's why we put the guide coat on. Uh, it's showing all the scratches and low spots. And I gotta be honest, these are showing me these are 80 grit scratches. They're not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be 120, but that's what happens. But it's gonna be fine because we're gonna be repriming. He's gonna be blocking this until all the low spots are gone uh, and all the scratches are out of here. So it's gonna take a while. But he's getting her. And we got Coleman blocking out some body filler on the FT50 here. Um, we had uh, Loriana. She was using a long board blocking the primer out that we put on last Friday. There's a chance we might get this reprime today. I don't know. Um, there's a couple spots that are going to need a little bit of filler. A little bit. It's a little bit low right here, um, but it's not bad. It's coming along. We've blocked it. Now we got it in here, repriming. Make sure you burp that trigger at the end. All right, we got Nolan and Connor getting ready to put some primer on uh, this side. Okay, hopefully the third time is going to be the charm on priming the side of this. Uh, there we go, Eddie. Eddie, give us a thumbs up, Eddie. All right. Um, everything, a few pinholes and stuff, they've sanded them all out now. So we got Coleman and Eddie getting her all taped up. We're going to prime both sides again. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Hopefully the next time we sand it and we tape it up, it'll be getting red paint on it. But we'll see. Okay. This truck's been reprimed for the last time, block sanded. We've got Jeremiah and Peyton, they're wiping her down. And then after we get done doing that, I'm trying to tell you what they're gonna do now in case I miss it and know it. We're gonna wipe it down with a tack rag and get it painted. We're gonna paint this in here We'll get a good paint job because it'll pretty much fill up the whole paint booth. I think uh, it'd just be a lot better situation to paint it in here. Dominic shoot the sealer on there.
Okay, we got all the base on here. And it's all nice and it's dry enough. We're gonna give it a nice tack down with a tack rag. It's hard for me to film. It's kind of a truck takes up almost all the space. And yes, I know that there's a, a, a damage right there, but we can't fix it because it's got a spray and bed liner. It's not gonna hurt anything. But I think it's gonna look nice. I didn't get to film him painting it much. Wow, that turned out great. Oh, oh and look, there's the man right there. Look, look at him, look at him with a yellow hat on. Wow, that looks awesome. Yeah. You know, I'm impressed. Uh, of course, I'm impressed with your paint work, but I'm really impressed with the body work. There's a there's a little a little whoop to do right there, but hey, it ain't hundred percent. But it's hundred percent good. It's a farm truck. Let's, I mean, it's a farm truck. We, we all know that's right. Did you paint the lid? Gas lid. All right. Well, as good as the paint job turned out, it doesn't match. I clean this spot up and you can see that's a lot redder. That's more orange. Um, never even worried about it because uh, this color like always matches. Uh, if you've clipped a couple videos back, we did a um, Fairmont hood, same color. Never had a problem with it. Uh, the only thing I can figure is this, this batch of paint didn't get mixed up exactly right. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit a couple days because I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, fix the problem that was on. It just jumps out at me like a sore thumb. If you, let me get, see if I can get it and pick it up. It's right here. Let me try this way. I don't know if you're trying to catch it. I don't know if it's showing up or not, but there's a spot right there. And it'll block out easy enough. Um, but they, they did a really good job. I'm really impressed with the... Uh, with the body work on it but the color not so much so we'll uh, sand it down tape it back up it's all part of learning it's all part of learning um, I know better than to not spray out a spray to hide card but sometimes in a rush to get stuff done take things for granted and that's just what I did here oh well there we are putting another coat of red on there Peyton and Jeremiah. It's a different variant of the same color. That color normally matches perfect, but oh well, live and learn. Getting the first coat of clear on. I know this is another patched up or pieced together video, but um, you should have seen a few minutes ago, uh, Peyton and Jeremiah putting another beautiful coat of paint on here. It turned out great. As you can see, it looks nice. Um, it still didn't match just right. It, it wasn't off that far. This color almost always matches. This paint code E4, that means nothing to most people, but it normally matches. Um, Obviously this is new paint and this is old paint, but it, it just wasn't right. So we have taken the door handle out, the mirror, lock. Um, this piece is already sanded. This is gonna get sanded today. We're gonna be blending color up in here and clearing the whole door. They say, why don't you just do the fender? Um, <laughs> this thing won't fit in our regular paint booth. It won't fit in our regular paint booth. So we're painting in the prep station. If you've noticed that, the, when you see him painting, there's a curtain around it. It really won't fit in there either, and it doesn't need painting. It's gonna be a perfect match because there'll only be color 
about to right here, and then the rest will be clear. So, part of the reason it doesn't look like it matches that's just so shiny. We did polish this up, you can't tell it now because we sanded it. We did polish this up, but it just it's too nice of a truck not to go ahead and do the doors. So, hopefully, when you see it again, we'll be working on that. Oh, um, we got Michaela and uh, Lexi. They're taping up the jam so we can uh, get this painted. And there's Haley, there we are. She's getting the other side ready so we can paint the cab corner and the door. You cannot get There he is, painting the man, getting ready to blend on this thing. Right, now what he's getting ready to do, guys, he's just blending color into this thing. We've got a little touch-up brush. This thing's got little chips here and there. We're gonna touch him up the brush. We'll be clearing the whole door, but he's just gonna put color in here. Uh, we're not painting the front end, maybe another time, but we gotta get this thing out of here. So he'll be going around touching up chips with a brush and everything else is gonna be blended. Take it away. Yeah, that's good. We got Rembrandt down here. Touching up chips. I know everybody watching this is screaming. Why didn't you just paint the whole door? Because then we got to paint the fender. Why didn't you paint the whole fender? You got to stop somewhere and this is where we're stopping. Okay. Getting his gun set up. Ready to shoot some clear on here. Spray it all right. Yeah. Well, now, before he clears it, I'll give you guys a shot. You can see how he kind of blended off. There's where it color blends. And when he clears it, that'll all disappear. Well, let's hope it does. Or they will, why didn't you just paint the whole thing to start with? <laughs> One paint at a time. All right. All right. Trying to shoot in between the cab, that's tricky to do. It takes a lot of triggering because if you just hold it. What's it looking like? Good? All right. You got one or two coat on there? One? Okay, good. And we're going to hit her again. Putting it on her. Look good? Yeah. Okay. Been painted about an hour now. Look at that. Well, I tell you what, that looks nice. I think more custom farms is going to want to have this thing in here next year and uh, have us do the front end of it. Somebody have to leave something in the comments about that one. But the blend's great. Well, we'll get it outside, but it looks great. And now we got uh, Tristan in here. Uh, yeah, say hey. Tristan won number one in the state, the whole state of Delaware, for the collision repair at Skills USA last month. This thing is finally done, other than be, needing to be put back together. It'll have its own video. It's already got one or two parts of the video, I think. Um, we got to put it back together and put these, uh, it's got some uh, steps so it's easier to get in this big thing. Uh, so this, all the paint work is done on this. Peyton just uh, had him spray the cavity wax in there. If you can see that wet stuff there, that's all cavity wax from, um, and it goes all the way. He shoved it, that straw. So this is all sealed up on the inside, both sides keep it from rusting. We were supposed to put some steps on there, 
like this and come to find out they're for, uh, not for this truck anyway, but everything else will get done. Then we got Peyton uh, is putting the uh, mud flat or fender liner back in there. Put that one in. We got Caleb putting the door handles and the door locks back in, getting the mirrors on. Okay, and we got Ava here. His, uh, she's been polishing, polishing the fender. Now she's doing this stone guard up front. It's polished up pretty good. Back here. And then we got Haley polishing up the tailgate. Okay. I made the video for this over the weekend, but it didn't have an outro. So they gave this thing a bath, and it looks like they got more water spots on it than it did when it came in. But oh gosh, yeah, we're going to have to wash this again in the next class. There'll be two outros. But wow looks good there we go there goes another one